How's it going to be? It's Tim from Duke Coffee and Smoke. Now today I couldn't decide between a full cooked breakfast for breakfast or a burger for lunch. Well, it's kind of late in the morning, so I'm going to do both. I made this! This here, full English breakfast burger, it's kind of naughty. So this one's a bit naughty. What we're going to do, we're going to French toast our rolls, a hash brown, then a portobello mushroom, a burger made from sausage meat, and a couple of strips of crispy bacon, a baked bean burger, a slice of tomato, a big squidge of ketchup, and top it with another French toasted slice of roll. So awesome. So if you want to find out how to make this, watch this video. Throughout this video, you'll notice titles across the top. Now, this is because I'm doing three or four separate things and you might only want to do one of them, so you can quickly drag through the video and find the bit you want. Now first up, let's get our burger and our mushrooms and our bacon cooking in the oven. You see, for me, all those things are best just cooked in the oven or a barbecue. But today, I haven't got time for the barbecue, so let's use our oven. Of course, I'd usually make my burgers by hand, but this burger is a bit of a beast and any flat surface I can create is going to help us. So I'm using the burger press for this one. Now, if you've got a burger press, you probably know how to use it. If you haven't got one, I'll just like make some really flat burgers. To make each sausage meat burger, just using sausage meat. If you've got sausage meat, buy some sausages, take the skins off, and you've got sausage meat. Then, create balls that are a bit bigger than a golf ball, squidge them nice and flat with the press, job done. Also, per burger, I want two strips of streaky bacon. We're gonna get those nice and crispy in that oven and our mushrooms. Now I love portobello mushrooms for burgers. They're already burger sized, they're big, flat, kind of meaty tasting, amazing. I'm gonna put all those on our trays and bung them in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. And while those cook, let's get everything else done. Let's make those hash browns. Now for the hash browns, we're gonna grate our potatoes and our onions. Then put them in a clean tea towel and squeeze it until all the liquid you can possibly get out is out. Then mix in a beaten egg until it kind of sticks together and becomes kind of homogenous. Then to cook our hash browns, we're taking a nice big ball of it, squidge it together, and pop it into some oil in a preheated pan, and then squidge it down a bit. So when you're cooking your hash browns, pop them in your hot pan of oil and keep an eye on them. Now you'll better see like as they cook. It gets lighter up the side and you can kind of see that browning across the bottom. Now about five minutes in, double check the bottom, it's looking good and caramelised, flick it over, give it another sort of five minutes. That's all they need, maybe 10 minutes, 12 minutes, depending on how hot your pan is. Now, we've been through making bean burgers before on my other video, I'll pop a link up there in a sec. But for this video, take your baked beans, drain all the sauce off that you possibly can through a colander, then mash up those beans. Add about eight tablespoons of plain flour and mash it up really well. And that's it, you've got your patty mixture. So take like a large golf ball-y kind of size, roll it into a little ball, squidge it into a sort of burger shape and pop it in a hot pan. Now just like we did for the hash browns, keep an eye on it, watch the colour change as it cooks. And again, about probably five minutes per side, maybe five minutes one side, two or three minutes side the other side. Then, once it's browned well on both sides, you think it's pretty much cooked, take a tablespoon of bean juice, pop it on top of that burger and carefully flip it over. Give it about a minute to caramelize that sauce up and do the same on the other side. And that's it, the bean burger's done. On to the next one. I took me a little while to work out how I was going to get egg into this burger without adding like another layer and the egg just falling out when you bite into it. I was even considering making like a ring of sausage meat and cooking the egg inside that, but that's getting a bit complicated. So, what else is awesome for breakfast? You know what? French toast is awesome. But to sweeten it up might be a little bit too sweet, so let's keep this super simple. We're going to beat a couple of eggs up, 
and add some salt and pepper and that's all. Then dip our buns into that mixture. Soak up that egginess and pop it in a hot pan. This is a couple of things. It gets the most crispiness on those buns and it brings that sort of egginess to the flavour as well. So we've got our eggs in our cooked breakfast. Amazing. You know what? I might take this trick and use it on burgers in the future. I mean, I normally toast the insides of my buns, but with the eggy mixture in there as well, oh mate, wicked. <laughs> Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> burger this is gonna be an absolute mess I've got no idea how to get into this it's got everything you want from breakfast but in a burger you've got crunch from the hash browns you've got the meaty mushroom the sausage you've got that baked bean burger just soft and lovely the crispy bacon and the crispy french toast buns but I'm off to my happy place. I'll see you later. Have an awesome week.